This is an Ace Award Tri-Star, just going to take you around the van and show you how it operates. Front of the van you've got your hitch, jockey wheel and handbrake. Um, this will be demonstrated to you in person here on site. Front locker you've got your two gas bottle tie downs and your gas regulator on the bulkhead. Two 6 kilogram propane gas bottles is the most amount of gas you can carry. And then you need your pipe work that goes to the top of the gas bottle itself, which we sell here on site if you need them. Then you've got your water pump connection in the side of the van. So the water pump pushes into the side of the van, as you can see here. Water pump drops down inside the aqua roll itself. Um, then we'll fill up, we'll show you how to fill the water system once we go inside of the van. Down each side of the van, you've got your wind down legs to stabilize the caravan. And they are just there for stabilizing, they are not there for lifting. Potentially, if you lift the caravan with a uh, lifted the caravan off the ground with the wind down legs, you could damage the floor of the caravan itself. Then we've got your Truma heating fluid on the side of the van, which you need to remove prior to igniting anything on gas inside of the caravan. Um, essentially, it's like the flue you've got on the side of your house. So, like I said, remove the cover and you'll be ready to go with the gas systems on board. The motor mover and wheel nuts, we'll talk the wheel nuts while you're here on site and we'll also demonstrate the motor mover to you so you can see that it's working correctly. You've then got your toilet flush tank, it takes three and a half litres of water, so you'll undo it with the key. Put three and a half litres of water in here and a cap full of the pink fluid prior to use. In the bottom, you have your toilet waste cassette which you pull out by pulling the yellow handle up and pulling the cassette towards you. The neck here turns out so you can tip the waste away. And on the back of the cassette you've got your yellow pressure relief button so when you are tipping the waste away it doesn't spit and splatter back at you. The cassette itself takes one litre of water and a cap full of the blue fluid, uh, blue fluid prior to use. The fresh water that goes in the front of the caravan has to come out somewhere. And down the side of the van, just down here, you'll see the two grey waste pipes, which you'll put into place and drop down inside your act roll. Um, that'll allow the grey waste to come back out of the van. You then got your toilet flush tank, uh, sorry, your uh, underbed storage at the rear of the caravan, so you can open up the uh, storage area and you'll be able to access the storage underneath the back of the van. On the rear of the van, again, you've got your wind down legs, and again, they are just there for stabilising the caravan rather than lifting. Down the door side, you've got your fridge vents, which allow the hot air out the back of the fridge unit. You've then got your battery box. I'm um, sorry, behind one of these as well, you've also got a gas flue at the top here when you're running the fridge on gas. They are just there for allowing the hot air out the back of the fridge unit. In the cassette, in the um, battery box down here, you've got your two terminals for the top of the battery. Um, quick release terminals so you can release them if you ever need to. And then you've got your mains power lead coming out the side of the caravan or going into the side of the caravan from the connection on site. Then you've got your storage for underneath the bed, your wind down leg for this side of the caravan and your barbecue gas point at the front. Going inside the caravan now. Above the door, you have your main control panel. So you're going to need to have the main power on prior to operating anything on board the caravan. You've got your internal lighting, your water pump run and your battery level on the end there so as you can see when I flick the switch the battery level comes up on here and when the water pump is running you'll get a green light just here so the first thing we're going to need to do once you're inside the caravan is fill the water system once you've got your mains power turned on so you're going to come underneath the seat at the front of the caravan underneath here you'll find a yellow valve that yellow valve down on the floor is your drain down valve for the water system that valve needs to be parallel with the floor prior to filling the system um, so parallel with the floor to fill the water system up and if it's upright and pointing towards the bottom of the seat all of the water out of the system on board the van will drain straight back out of the van and onto the floor underneath. Once you've got that valve parallel with the floor you'll come over to each tap on board the caravan open them up on the hot side as we've got here and at that point the water system will start or sorry once you open them taps up, so that's a tap in the kitchen, the tap in the bathroom, and the tap on the shower. You'll then come to the control panel above the door and turn on the water pump. So the water pump's on, and we've got water running out of every tap. So you'd never shut the taps off until that water system is completely full, so it's running as it is now. If that was spitting and splattering, you'd actually wait until all of that air was out of the system, and then you'd shut off each tap. So now all the taps are shut off, we can start thinking about warming the water on board the caravan. So we've got two ways of doing this. We've got the electric and we've got the, the gas option to run the water systems. So in the wardrobe, wardrobe cupboard, 
you've actually got your different controls here for operating the caravan on 12 volt, just here. So you've got the car 12 volt when you're towing down the road on the top. You've got 12 volt off when the switch is in the middle. And when the switch is down, pointing towards the van option, that means you're running off the 12 volt battery system on board the caravan. Space heater, you'd always have on, mains power on. Same as the battery charger just here. However, just here you have your electric water heater. So you don't need to turn this on when you've got water in the system and that system is completely full. So that is the water heater turned on. You've got your 12 volt fuses here on the left hand side um, and you'll find a list of what they are when you uh, inside the caravan manual itself. At the bottom here you've got your 240 trip switches and you've got a list here just to the left hand side to let you know what each of those is for. But like I said, water heater switch, you would never turn on until you've got the water system completely full. You can also warm the water up on gas. So, in or just on the control panel on this side of the caravan, you'll see we have two controls. This is for your heating for the caravan, so we're going to concentrate on this one for a moment. To get the caravan to or caravan water system to ignite on gas, you'd make sure the gas bottle is turned on in the front locker. You'd spin this out to dial around to the gas symbol and you'd get a green light appear in the back here. That is your pilot light. If it failed to ignite, you get a red light to come up next to it in a moment. After it's tried, there we go. So there's a red light just appeared. You can just about see it in the video just there. And that is to let me know it has failed to ignite. To control the temperature of the water heater on gas, whatever number is above the green light is the number or the temperature the water heater is going to warm up to. You would also use the gas water heating as a way of boosting the system while you're showering on board the caravan because the electric on its own will not warm the water up quick enough, for instance, when you are showering. So at the moment, it's going to warm up to 50 degrees. If, the, if it was ignited and the green light was on its own, it will warm up to 50 degrees. And then if you ever need to turn the gas supply back off, you can turn the dial off to the off position just here. So that is your gas and electric water heating. If you wanted to warm the caravan up heat-wise inside, you've got your electric heating just here. Now, depending on what caravan site you're on, you'll have either 500, 1,000 or 2,000 watts of power coming into the caravan from the caravan site you're on. You'd select the relevant power source, so here on site it's 500 watts. And then you control the temperature of the heater on the dial in the centre here, so between 1 and 9. What that relates to is the amount of elements in the heater is going to warm up. If you want to turn the electric heating off, you can spin the dial back round to the off position just here on the right hand side. If you want to use the heater on gas, you've got a dial on the right, left hand side of the heater. Spin the dial round to between 10 and 9. Press down the gas valve, then in the window down the front here, you'll eventually get a pilot light. Once that pilot light's ignited, you'll hold down the gas valve for a further 5 to 10 seconds, then slowly release the valve. You can then control the temperature of the heater on the dial on top between 1 and 10, very similar to what you do with your barbecue. Around the caravan, you'll notice you've got your blown air vents. Now again, they are very simple to use. You've got your blown continuous blown air wave symbol just here. So that'll be continuous blown air, and then you've got your fan speed on top. The dot in the center indicates the heat is going to come out the front of the heater. And on the A, on the right hand side, it's ambient. So essentially it'll cut in and out with the thermostat on board the caravan. So if you have it on blown air on the A, like I said, it will cut in and out as the water heater warms, as the heating system warms up and the caravan warms up internally and then it'll cut back out as needed. The fridge system, very simple to use. You've got the option to run gas. So you've got your gas option just here. It will self-ignite on gas. You do need to, oh, you don't need to do it on this one, sorry. It will self-ignite on gas as long as the gas is turned on. And then you'll get a green pilot light here when it has ignited. If that goes orange, then it means it has failed to ignite. 240 mains is in the center here. And you can control the temperature of the fridge on gas or mains on this dial on the right hand side. If you're towing down the road and you want to use the fridge as a cool box, you can select the 12 volt mode. And that will only work when you're connected to the car at the front of the caravan. So essentially, if you're towing down the road, put it on 12 volt mode. And as you get to site, the beers and wine will be nice and cold. 
You can also turn the fridge completely off by going to the off position at the top here. Cooker, hob and grill all work very much the same as your household appliances. No difference at all there. The only difference being if you're using the electric ring, it will only work while you're on a 240 mains power source. In the bathroom, you've got the toilet system with an electric flush on top of the toilet. You've got your toilet uh, toilet full waste lights so that lets you know when the toilet waste cassette is full. And below the toilet, you've got your grey waste handle. Uh, which allows the waste to go into the cassette underneath the caravan. The toilet does turn for your convenience, however, when you're removing the cassette from underneath the caravan, you need to make sure it's in the position it is in now. If you have any further questions on the Ace Award TriStar, please don't hesitate to give us a call here at the caravan company and we'd be more than happy to help. We appreciate the business and we look forward to seeing you here on site soon when you collect your caravan. Thank you for now. Bye-bye.